Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup tutorial. So I'm going to start by taking off the makeup I already have on. To start off, I use this cheap concealer. I got it Big Lots for about $3 in a packet. So I have acne, obviously. So I just put this over my red spots. I am a voice. I am a voice without any sound. I'm a treasure map. To seal my under eyes, I use the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. So it has white highlighter and concealer. So you just take this and you go blah, blah, blah. I don't know what those sound effects are, but they work. And just blend down to give it a more natural shape, like if it's the natural shape of your face. And um, it didn't do too much, but fix my face a bit. So next step, I use its powder. It doesn't look like powder. It actually has like a little built-in mirror, which is really cool. My friend mom works for Mary Kay so she gave this to me for free. It's Mary Kay Ivory 0.5 because I am hella pale. So it's basically translucent powder because I am very pale as I just said. So I just put this over the spots that tend to get shiny like here and here and I kind of brush it around to even out my skin tone. And on my nose, because my nose gets really, really shiny. Around, over, and up here. Now, obviously, I usually don't show my forehead, but I cover all of it just so I have it evenly dispersed. So after that, I take this Clinique blush in Ginger Pop. Not super heavily, but enough. nice flushed look which I don't know why but I like that so next I take the highlighter stick from the concealer I used earlier and I place this under my eyebrow arch is right here and this makes your eyebrows pop and it makes your um, eyes look different I don't know what it does really but it looks good and you have to blend that well because most of you probably aren't pure white. Unless you are. I highly doubt you are. So, and I highlight my cupid's bow too sometimes. Because I like my cupid's bow. But that looked really good. Nice. Oh, and you can also highlight in here. Right here on your eyes. And it will lighten up your eyes if you have dark eyes i have blue eyes which is a light color but makes you look more awake and refreshed and rejuvenated mm. so next up i do my eyebrows this is another thing i took from my mom it's covergirl eye enhances but i'm pretty sure it's actual in tapestry taupe i use this for my eyebrows even though it's a um eyeshadow i believe and guess what? I use an eyeliner pencil to apply this because that makes sense. So I already have rather thick eyebrows. I just like filling them in because you can see the empty spaces here and here. But in the middle it's pretty thick so I never touch that. And this is actually a bit too light for my eyes, for my eyebrows. Um, but I use it anyways. And it kind of accents them, which is good because that's apparently fashionable now, which is weird. And then after that, you take a mascara brush, an old mascara brush, and I just go over them to kind of make them look more natural. See? Even eyebrows ish, I guess. So, next step, I don't always do this, but I use Wet n Wild Color Con. Probably in pale, knowing me. Doesn't really have a name. And it's basically pre-made and it 
So I may just cut off recording because my I had insufficient space. But basically, this I kept putting it on because I didn't realize that the camera stopped. But you put the pink on your eyelid, and you put the brown on the crease, and you put the white on your brow bone, and it gives you a nice natural look. So that's basically all it does. And I know this is a really unpleasant angle to look at me at. I didn't realize that until I just watched it right now. So next up, we're going to do eyeliner. Um, it's the Elf eyeliner. I think it's in jet black. It doesn't say anymore. So um, recently, I've been doing wings, but. Um, so, you kind of just, um, oh god, this is really awkward. There's a sink in front of me, so this is just a really bad placement. But, it's, um, I start with like a thickish line here, and then you just fold, I have really round eyes and curled lashes. So, I can't really do very good, um, or very thick eyeliner, or wings, like, you just follow the angle that your eyelashes go out at, um, I made that really big, oops, okay, um, but yeah, that's a wing, that's a really big wing, and then I just follow down and up and then I go under and I believe that's called the cat eye I'm not sure but I like the way it looks sometimes I do this sometimes I don't it depends on the outfit I'm wearing and what mood I'm in so I have this lipstick from Clinique that my mother gave to me it's a chubby stick and it's basically the same color as my lips, but it's moisturizing and it makes them look nice. So I wear that. And sometimes I wear this one, which is more of a raspberry color. It's 065 Hooked on Pink by some company. But it's like... And yeah, I am putting two lipsticks on at the same time. I'm creative. And a little tip, I don't know if most people know this, but in order to prevent lipstick on your teeth, you take a finger, it can be your thumb, your forefinger, I don't really know, you just put it in your mouth and you... And I didn't get much on because I'm pretty good at putting lipstick on, but yeah. So that's my everyday makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you like it, then like it below, and if you really liked it, you can subscribe for more videos similar to this, and leave a comment below on what you would like to see in the future. Bye!